so next we're going to teach him a DAO. Um, the reason I've been doing it all on this mat and the reason I'm going to continue doing it with the DAO is that if I can get lots and lots of reinforcement of him lying on this mat, every time he sees this mat he's going to want to come and lie on it. Which means that we can take this mat <laughs> anywhere we want it to go. So you can take it to the bar, you can take it to a cafe, a restaurant, stick it under the table. If he's used to just doing a lovely down, which he's just demonstrated beautifully there, on his mat, every time he sees this in a new place, it's going to be he's going to be aware of exactly what he should be doing on it. Which means you can sit and have a nice settled dog underneath your table while you're having a beer on a summer's day. Which is, at the end of the day, what we all want to do when we want to enjoy our dogs. At the end of a long walk. So, to teach the down, the easiest way for to start with a puppy is to get them into a sit and then lure them down from there. So, you're going to have to come up and we get into a sit and then we get right down. So, he's, to get the treat, he's got to put his tummy on the floor. So, I'm delivering that treat to him nice and low down. Again, just like with the sit, we're not going to add that cue word until I know he's going to do it 100% of the time. And again, just because I want him to be used to lying down on this mat, we're just going to reward for this duration as well. Easy way to get them back up, show them the treat, chuck it off. Normally works. Where's your treat? There we go. Don't hit the sausage. So then we get, get him back on his mat. Sit. Good. Good boy. So that just shows. To begin with, they might not want to actually put their bodies down. So the body sticks up, their um, front legs arch, but they don't really want to go down. They might really burrow into your hand as well. What you need to do is make sure that you give them the space to come forwards. So if you see when he goes into a sit, once he's finished hoovering up cheese, Good boy. I now need to come down, but not only down, I need to give him space to, for those front legs to come forward. So it comes down and forwards. So allow him lots of space to come down. And again, I'm just going to reward this duration. He's just happy, chilling out on his mat. We'll do it one more time. Down and four. Oh, nearly. Sit. Good. We go down and we just let him come forwards. And we just keep going. This is a good example of how puppies often try and do it without actually coming down. Just going to keep luring him down. Lots of patience. Good boy. So be um, happy to reset the whole situation, bring the hand back up and back down. What you don't want them to do is get so confused about what you're trying to do. So just reset the situation and ask for that down again. So he's nice and settled here. We're just going to reward the duration. Good boy. Lying on the mat, that's what I'm asking.